Today we'll be taking a look at the Kurt T connector vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector. This is going to give you that four pole flat connection for towing with your vehicle and needing a four pole flat connector at the back to give you that stop, turn, and taillight function. So we can wire this up to our trailer or any other accessory that uses a four pole flat. You can also use an adapter with this to convert it for a four pin connector or a seven pole or a, a six pole, those adapters are available here at eTrailer.com if you need to pick one up. But just keep in mind that this will only have the stop, turn, and running light functions. All our wires are going to run into our converter box. This is actually the brains of the system. This is what's going to keep everything protected, has some potting material to keep those circuits protected from any shocks or vibrations when we're out on the road. Whenever you're driving with your vehicle, it's going to be, be vibrating a little bit just as it's moving. So you want to make sure that all those connections are nice and protected so we don't have any issues with shorts. Comes with everything you see laid out here on the table. We'll have a cover for our wiring. So this will just match up that little piece in the end with our bare terminal for the ground. Pops on there and keeps all those terminals protected. The other end you would just loop over and have attached to the wire there. You can also use this cover as a sort of makeshift wiring holder. If you put that around the safety chain loop on your hitch, it can act as a little way to keep that up and off the ground whenever you're not using it. We'll also have an inline fuse holder and the included 15 amp fuse, again, to make sure that we don't have any issues with our wiring affecting our vehicle. This has its own source that's going to run to the battery, so we're not pulling any power from the lighting system. It's going to be powered directly from our vehicle's battery. Now the battery on the vehicle, this is going to be a custom fit for our 2013 through 2017 Audi Q5 and the 2014 through 17 Audi SQ5. And on those Audis, the battery is located in the rear hatch, which is where you're going to be working pretty much for the entirety of this install. So that's why they give you such a short length of power wire there, since it's really not going to have to go too far to get connected up. But our wiring system is going to be running directly off of our battery there. The rest of the connections are going to be made either behind the side panel in our cargo area or on the lift gate or the hatch door. So you will have to remove some panels, undo a few screws, and pop things out to get everything installed. It lines it out pretty well in the instructions. They've got a lot of pictures in there to help make it easy to see where everything needs to go. Open those up for you there. So they do a pretty good job of illustrating how to get everything installed. The one thing that they don't really go into as far as this, the instructions is where that battery is located. And for, again, the Audi Q5, it's going to be underneath the spare tire, so you'll need to remove that and the cover, pull off the little clip there attaching. There's a little wiring component you need to pull off, remove the spare tire, and then you can get access to the battery underneath that panel. That's where you'll make your power connection. Our module box will be, connect, be attached behind our side panel. Comes with some nice thick foam tape, which is double-sided, so we can stick that onto the back of our box and then stick it onto the side of our Q5 in a nice out-of-the-way spot. Our wiring connections are gonna be made on that lift gate. So these two ends will just match up and run right in line with our wiring. So there's no cutting or splicing required with this. It all is just plug and play. Comes with some zip ties and an extra long one to get everything tidied up. And you do have a couple extra connectors here, a couple of butt connectors and a ring terminal, which I don't think you should need for this install, but you may need the screw to make your ground connection in a nice chassis ground location. If you can, it's always good to run off of an already existing ground screw. So as you're doing your install, you can look for a nice grounding spot so you don't have to screw into the body. That's always an option there. As far as the amperage for this, lighting, for this wiring system, it has uh, five amps per circuit for the stop and turn lights, and then 7.5 amps per circuit for the taillights themselves. It comes with a limited one-year warranty from Kurt. 
And that's going to do it for our look at the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector.